welcome to a brand new Ibiza vlog. If you haven't watched the previous vlog yet, then I highly recommend you to watch that one first. But this is part two of my trip and we're starting off this beautiful morning by taking some pictures for my Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you haven't already. I'm wearing this super super cute outfit or it's not really the outfit bikini from Fashion Nova with this super cute like cut out I don't even know what it is it's just like a small piece of fabric <laughs> but it looks cute uh, with this bikini which is also from Fashion Nova and I love the pattern of this bikini I've also showed this one in my haul video and a lot of you guys also commented that I definitely uh, should bring that one with me on my holiday so I did uh, really happy with it and with my boots these are my boots guys how amazing and the weather hasn't been the best during this holiday it's very very windy and also a little bit cold but you know the grind the insta grind still goes on so we're still gonna make some pics there was somebody who was running so i needed to run as well i was kind of in their way uh but yeah let's take some pictures Okay guys, I'm done taking the pictures. Insert footage of me right here, running around on the beach. And uh, I think they turn out pretty, pretty well. These are some of the results. Um, I think I'm satisfied. The boots look cute, so that was like the main focus of the picture because I love wearing boots with bikinis. It has become kind of like my signature thing recently, um, especially on my Instagram, a lot of people know me for that. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy, but also freezing cold. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put on my coat and warm up inside because oh my god it's so cold look guys there's so much seaweed and seagrass on the beach because of the storm of the other day but luckily the weather seems a little bit better it's also not as cold as this morning so we are heading to the city uh, to do some shopping because it's a perfect weather for shopping and I definitely need some stuff also some new makeup from Kiko so um, yeah I'm really excited for that and obviously I'm also gonna stop at Sephora um, I kind of want a new signature perfume because I always wear J'adore by Dior or uh, Valentina by Valentino but I'm kind of sick and tired of those scents so I want something new if you guys have any scent recommendations uh, let me know um, I watched a lot of perfume TikToks this morning and a lot of people said YSL has really good perfumes which I actually never tried and I also heard a lot of people say that Prada Candy is really good apparently so uh, yeah let's see what they have and of course all the replica scents like by the fireplace and they also have a matcha scent I think they have those ones at Sephora as well so I'm gonna do a little smell test I'm in Intimissimi now and look how cute guys all the bras and underwear are on sale and there are so many cute pieces like oh my god Oh my god guys, I'm in Bershka now and look what I spot! It is Karomi! Oh my god, look at this canvas bag! This is the cutest thing I've ever seen! We're now at Yara again, uh, which you might have seen in the previous vlog. We also went there and it's part of the standard hotel here on Ibiza. Um, and this is a fairly new hotel and it's so good like their food looks amazing just look at this salad this is their signature salad and i'm so hungry and so in the mood for this oh my god this is right up my alley and of course fresh mint tea look how cute the salt is guys it's in the shape of this tomato a little bit of salt and pepper obviously a little taste test so good. Okay, at Sephora now and it's time to test some fragrances. So a lot of people said that I should try C by Giorgio Armani. It's nice, definitely. It doesn't wow me, but 
maybe that will come but I like it it's like soft and powdery now let's try a uh, Dolce Cabana the one oh no I immediately smell it this is not for me it's nice though but like not my style this YSL fragrance is one of the most exciting ones that I've heard about like so many people rave about this and this is YSL Libre so let's spritz it on oh it's nice but maybe a little too light like opium I'm like too picky with these scents also not perfect mm, it's so hard like I really want like a new signature scent that I'm like super in love with okay I think out of all the fragrances that I tried I like this one the most the Prada um, Paradox so I'm gonna spritz it on myself and then see how it lingers how it smells on my skin and then maybe eventually get it uh, but yeah this one is a new one by Prada and it's really good yeah love this is also winter on Ibiza rainy and cold but we still have the ocean it's not as beautiful a little gray but so grateful to be here it's really cool though do you think about what you're running from Hello my loves and welcome to another beautiful day on the island of Ibiza We're walking to the city center again and this morning we had a really beautiful morning because we did a healing session uh, with Gina um, she is somebody that we already saw last year. She also always stays at the same spot as we are staying and she's actually gonna be there for six weeks. She always comes back here um, and we saw her last February and now this February as well. And she is a spiritual coach and healer. And during breakfast, I didn't film it for obvious reasons. She did a little healing session with my mom and with me and I learned so much obviously it's quite personal um, everything that we discussed but something that I do want to share is that it is extremely important to heal your inner child when you're facing problems and that you go back to what you enjoy doing as a child um, especially if you have trouble relaxing if you're feeling stressed go back to what your inner child enjoy doing so for example go back to drawing or dancing like nobody's watching um, and quit the perfectionism in that so just draw away write a story even if it doesn't make sense and something that I also learned is that um, you know I've mentioned this before but I'm currently on quite a spiritual journey in my love life regarding a twin flame situation and she uh, basically reassured me uh, by saying that whatever is meant to happen will happen and whatever is meant to be yours is already yours um, and I don't have to force this kind of energy because when I feel that there is something that already makes it real and I know this is really vague but maybe it resonates I obviously can't go too much in depth because it's a very personal situation but I hope that um, you guys can do something with this kind of information uh, she gave this healing session to us for free which was really really sweet of her and she said you know I'm doing this because just like oil um, it will spread and that is something that made so much sense to me because if you're helping somebody it doesn't always mean that you're just helping that one person but it can actually be beneficial for the greater good and she used the example of my mom my mom is actually a nurse and she helps a lot of people dealing with for example diabetes and in her job she talks to so many people not even just about their physical health but also about their mental problems and so Gina said you know by helping my mom my mom can help other people and I feel like that also is the same for me by helping me um, maybe I can help some of you guys especially with the platform that I have so um, yeah and now just strolling 
through the city that building right there is los boas by the way some people hate it some people love it but this is one of the most iconic apartment complexes of ibiza and um yeah i actually really love it i really love the colors and i think the architect did a great job on this it definitely brings some color in this street i walked a little closer so now you can see it a little bit better uh, but this was actually designed by the prestigious architect jean nouvel and i also stayed in a hotel designed by him in madrid and this is the pool area um so beautiful i've actually been inside once uh with my ex-boyfriend we had an apartment viewing there and um, although I like it so much and it's definitely very iconic, I don't think that I would actually want to live there um, just because it isn't necessarily my style. I want to go for something a little bit more elegant and like clean looking, like I'm more into the very solid white uh, or like black and white apartments, but it definitely has its charm. So I just wanted to show you that because it's an iconic piece by Jean Nouvel and yeah, maybe you guys were wondering what this was uh, because I walk past it a lot. So maybe you've seen it already in my vlogs. Um, and now, look at this. So cute. Look how cute, guys. If I was a child, I wouldn't need anything else. Just this, the whole day, this pirate ship. And that's all I would need in order to be happy. This is the cutest little playground. We're in the city now and I ordered a vegan burger. Oh my God, I'm so hungry, guys. Okay, guys, first bite. It's with caramelized onion. Mm, eight out of 10. So we were just sitting here and we had finished our dinner. And then all of a sudden, a little doggy came to our table and he started barking and Pumi started barking and it was like this whole ordeal but then the sweetest guy came up to our table <laughs> i'm sorry i'm getting disrupted by a guy who's making a lot of noise with some type of car i don't know he's cleaning something whatever anyways uh, then the sweetest guy came up to our table and he was like no i know how to calm down dogs because like all the dogs were barking and he had a dog himself his dog was also barking so then he started playing music for us at our table a little private guitar session and it was honestly the cutest thing ever all the doggies love the music so much so um here's a little insert of that footage <laughs> Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and bright. It's such a fun and little sight. Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and bright. It's such a fun. And nettle side, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. Ha <laughs> ha Now we're all friends. <laughs> yeah. Also love the guitar, it's, it's a free yeah. stuff, right? Okay guys, I'm on my perfume hunt once again. And I think I found one that I actually really like. And it's Hypnotic Poison by Dior. So let's spritz this on. This is a different perfume shop. Than Sephora. Okay, I think I like this one a lot, but I have to let it sit on my skin, obviously, to fully judge it because I want a more like heavier perfume that's also warm. So we're just gonna let this sit, and this is what the box looks like. Very beautiful and classy and red. And I love Dior perfumes anyways, but I'm kind of like tired of Jador or this classic Miss Dior. It's always good, but you know it's not a signature fragrance for me so um yeah i'm gonna see if i like this one throughout the day now at kiko and as you guys know i'm struggling so much because my etude uh, lip pencil that i always wear is sold out everywhere so i'm swatching some uh, lipstick to see which one comes 
closest. The one on the bottom is my Etude lip pencil and I think I'm going for the one above it. Uh, just a little bit more pink but I think it's gonna be a really pretty color and it's this one, it's on sale as well. So um, I'm going for that one. It is a breakfast time. Good morning guys. I'm so incredibly happy because it's so sunny today. Oh my god, and we have our breakfast. This is my banana bread, so let's take a bite. So incredibly good. Perfect morning, perfect day. So I made these two pigtails, and I thought it would be very cute to do a little photo shoot with Hello Kitty, kind of like me and Hello Kitty are down to go to the beach, or like we are ready for a day in the sunshine, um, because look at this, like, you look so much alike, right? If she was wearing a bikini, we would be totally twins. So uh, yeah, I think the pigtails turned out so cute and it totally matches the Hawaii aesthetic of this bikini. Look how adorable. Look at this guys, carrot cake and of course a ginger tea, my fave. Hey guys, first bite. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. It's so light and fluffy. We walked all the way from the city center to Figueretas. You guys know this is my home away from home and it feels so lovely to be back on this beach where I've been spending all my holidays since I was six years old. So I've been coming here for 20 years now, that's crazy. And oh my God, this place holds so many memories. So yay, so happy to be back. Pomi obviously can play with the other doggies. Wait a minute, Pum. And now he's off the leash. Hola, hola perros. It's so beautiful to see how much he loves the beach. I am now at taco and I ordered some tacos to go because my mom and I are both really really hungry so yeah I can't wait I have been walking past this place like the whole time and I never knew that it was there maybe it's new uh, but anyways I'm so excited like every day I was talking to my mom and saying like oh my gosh we need to go here uh, because I see so many people ordering and taking it away so uh, hopefully it's gonna be really nice and it's so inexpensive um, all the tacos are one euro per piece and then you pay like a little bit extra uh, to take it away because you get the cutlery and everything but oh my god I'm so excited um, from what I've been seeing, it looks really good. Oh my god, guys, look how cute this car is. This is just straight up adorable. This is like all hand painted. I love this so much. I need more space. Summer love with the cacti. That's Ibiza right there. I love it. I just had to show you guys. It's so cute. We are back at the apartment now and it's time to eat my tacos. I'm so super excited, guys. I ordered um, al pastor and also another flavor with chicken. So let's drizzle some lime, a little bit of hot sauce. Guys, let's taste test this. That's actually so good. Oh my God, best decision ever. Tacos vendor approved and I also want to do a little haul of everything that I got during this trip because this was our last full day Tomorrow we will be flying back at 3 so we still have a little bit of time left like We can chill in the morning. We don't have to wake up super early. So that's really nice But these are the things that I got. So first of all the Karomi bag I have been using this so much during this holiday already and it's just the cutest thing ever with the little cherries and you know karomi is just iconic it is so funny because my friend lynn uh who you might know from you know my vlogs and posts on instagram she is currently in south korea she is currently living in seoul and she will be there for the upcoming six months it's crazy before i went on this trip i had to say goodbye to her and 
you know, it's pretty weird. All of a sudden, one of your friends is so, so far away. But during this holiday, I've been chatting with her all the time, how her trip is going. She left a couple of days after I went to Ibiza and she arrived safely. Everything is good. Um, but the funniest thing is that she also bought a Karomi item. She bought this Karomi stuffed animal. So now we're matching and that was just so funny. Uh, we didn't even know that about each other. So yeah, that's just a funny coincidence. Um, then I got this Las Dalias magazine from the Las Dalias market that you could have seen in my previous vlog, the first Ibiza vlog. Um, this is always so perfect to have like as a memory of the trip. And it was completely free but i still wanted to show it to you guys um then in this little bag i have my other purchases so i got these two little scarves this one with this cute print and i think i'm gonna use these as bag scarves because i think it's so cute to put on your back as kind of like a twilly you know how the hermes girlies do it and i actually thought it was one scarf like a big one but it's two small scarves and this one is even cuter because it has hibiscus flowers and as you guys know i'm a huge coconut girl so that's just right up my alley and if you've watched the alicante vlogs you will know that my grandpa collects magnets, so we got this little magnet for him. And this is perfect because the salamander is actually the symbol of Ibiza and you see it everywhere on the island. Um, so yeah, that's just a very cute and iconic piece. Then obviously I went to Intimissimi and there I got this bra no let me show it to you the proper way this one with these matching bottoms and then this one so pretty and last but not least at kiko i got my eyebrow pencil i always get this one i have it on right now and it's super natural it's the um eyebrow sculpt automatic pencil in the color five i can do a quick little swatch for you this is what it looks like a very beautiful brown color like a deep brown and then last but definitely not least this is the festival glow lipstick that was actually on sale and it's so pretty and this is what that color looks like so beautiful i can't wait to try this one on and um, and that is everything that i got guys i'm now packing my suitcase for tomorrow and i almost forgot but i also got these two dresses so first of all this one this one is so extremely pretty it's like this long dress from bershka and i love this design and it's a little wrinkled now but this super beautiful black slip dress i hung it up here in the bathroom otherwise you can't see it because that closet is quite dark but um this is so gorgeous i totally feel like audrey hepburn in this and despite the fact that you could also wear it as a regular dress i'm probably gonna wear this as a pajama because how classy and how beautiful <laughs> Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say